Hi, this is Gonzalo from the AWS Glue team. In this short video, I'm going to highlight the features and improvements recently added to the Glue Studio data preview. In software development, it's important to test soon and often. But for data-driven solutions, this is crucial, since it's the data what drives the ETL pipeline. This is why notebook development has become so popular between data engineers and scientists. For those people that rather not code, Glue Studio provides data preview to validate and tune the visual job development as you go. Glue Studio data preview has recently received significant improvements on different areas based on customers' feedback. All of them are aimed to improve your productivity by making things easier, more interactive, and improve the overall user experience. In the rest of the video, I will go into the specifics of what has changed for regular users as well as showing new users how powerful and valuable is this tool for visual development. Okay, so we are now in Glue Studio. This is an uh, example, a visual job that I created for a blog. Uh, you can find in the description the blog if you want to follow it and play around with this and yourself. Um, here we have a pipeline that it reads from S3 and then it branches to produce two results. And um, the idea of the data preview is that at any point in the pipeline, I can see what is the output produced by each node. Now, one of the difference with the previous version is that now the data preview, it starts automatically. You don't have to, when you need it, just to press the button and get it started. It's there ready for you when you need it. You can disable this configuration. You can stop the sessions if you need to. And then I can go to each node and see what is the transformations that are being made until I find the the final output. So if somebody is complaining that what I'm producing is not correct, I just have to look at what is getting passed into the target. The target itself doesn't have a preview because it doesn't produce any data and just see the final output of my job. Okay, and that's, let's say that now we want to check the output and notice that uh, this expiration date, it's not clear, which is the year, which is the day, uh, this doesn't look right. So you can go at previous levels and see where it got wrong. Like here it's where it builds the expiration rate. We can see that it concatenates the three fields, the year. So it must be that the year is wrong if it is wrong at this place. So right now it's, it's running up to this point. Each time you show a node, it will remember it. So if you click again without changing anything, it will show you the data immediately. Um, we can see it, it produced already the, the date with just two digits, and it's because the year has two digits. In the previous step, we can see that it's trying to correct that, but it has actually a bug here, because it's doing the opposite. It's checking when it has two, it puts four, uh, it's supposed to put other two digits. In this case, it's meant to be two. So notice that I did the change and immediately updated the, the data preview to reflect the changes down here. So let's have a look at now. So now that the year has been rectified, then it will propagate through the rest of the pipeline down to the target. So I can go to the target and verify that this change has propagated correctly because I made a change upstream. Now it needs to recalculate the results at this point in the preview and just show them and we can verify. So now we have the date with the four digits. The other important aspect of the pipeline is the schema that each node produces as it evolves through the pipeline, and especially in the node before the target, because that's what will be used in the output. Um, before, it will try to guess in each node uh, what will be the output if you added some column or you change it. Uh, it would, couldn't always do it automatically, so you have to use the preview and tell it to use the preview schema to replace the schema that was before. Now it will do it automatically as long as this is enabled. So as long as your data is representative of the data in production in the preview, you can be confident that you're doing the right thing and building the pipeline correctly. In addition, there are other user friendliness improvements that I want to show. So imagine in this case, uh, there was the requirement to get the original data as it comes, just at the timestamp and store it somewhere. So I will add a note, so current timestamp, I can leave it as it is by default, and then I can just store, just imagine for argument's sake that it was MySQL, 
if it, if it doesn't make a lot of sense. So now, before I can do use the preview in the previous version, I will have to complete all the information here and have everything ready. But in now it doesn't have to be the case. Like that, I can preview this node even though the full graph is not completed. In addition, when the, we added this node, it needed a dependency that was detected and restarted the session automatically, so it could run the transformation. Notice that before it will only display the fire spy field, so I will have to go here and check it to display the field that I just added, but now that happens automatically, that's really nice and it saves you time. To wrap up, be aware that you can get a lot of details about the session here if you need them, and you can start the session and get the configuration about these options that you can disable. Normally, most people should have them enabled, but if for some reason you're going to spend some time before you actually you're going to use data or you don't have the data available, you can disable it. So the next time you open the job, it won't be disabled, it won't start again. Uh, the same for the schema and the imported libraries that I just mentioned when I added this node, it added automatically. I don't see a reason to disable this really. This concludes the demonstration. These features are already released, so you can go and try them. I believe they will help you increase your productivity building visual jobs.